Here's what's been making the business headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. BHP's plan to divest Anglo-American's South African assets is key to the strategy behind the proposed takeover, investors briefed on the miners' thinking have said, and they expect it to be part of any revised offer. BHP was rebuffed by its smaller rival last month after submitting a 39 billion US dollar takeover proposal seen as complex because it required Anglo to offload its shares in Kumba Iron Ore and Amplatz to Anglo-American shareholders before any deal took place. Zambia's Quacha hit a record low against the US dollar on Wednesday. That's amid hard currency shortages and a punishing drought that has led to power cuts in the southern African copper producer. <laughs> Microsoft is closing its African Development Center in Nigeria's commercial capital Lagos, a spokesperson said, which will lead to job losses. The center was opened in 2022 as part of Microsoft's push to deliver high-end engineering and innovation solutions for the company. Ivory Coast has suspended exporters' purchases and exports of raw cashew nuts to allow local processors to supply their factories, according to an Agriculture Ministry memo. The West African country has become a leading grower of cashew nuts in recent years, but only a fraction are processed locally due to steep competition from deeper-pocketed Asian exporters. And finally, Amazon launched its online shopping service in South Africa on Tuesday. The launch comes amid a sharp rise in online shopping in Africa's most advanced economy, following the global health crisis. South Africa is usually seen as a good entry point for companies to expand into the continent, and analysts have previously said Amazon could be doing the same.